In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to start an LLC in Texas. And I'm gonna move through this video fast, but I'm gonna give you a lot of information and things to consider. And at the end of this video, we're also gonna talk about how you can save on taxes, depending on how you set up your business entity. But the first thing I wanna talk about is the fees. So in Texas, as of making this video in 2021, it is $300 to file to the state. So you're not getting around that fee. It's 300 if you go through an attorney, if you do it yourself, no matter how you do it. And that fee probably will go up over time, but as of making this this video is three hundred dollars so when you're thinking about setting up an llc there's really two different paths that you want to think about going do you want to hire an attorney or do you want to do it yourself so to help you figure out that decision one of the things you should think about with an attorney is what is the business that you're starting is there a lot of potential liability and what i mean by that is if you're starting up like a tree trimming service versus a coffee shop probably more liability in the tree trimming service because people could get injured or you know tree falls on somebody's home so you may want to be a little bit more dialed in with that llc uh, another thing to consider too is where is your business at today now are you already creating income are you potentially having a more complex situation where you have income out of state and in state are you already making forty to $60,000 net a year? Those are reasons you might wanna talk with an attorney. But if you're you know, just getting started and you got an idea and you're really just trying to do things the right way and limit your liability with an LLC, you may wanna do it yourself. So what you're looking at here is the state um, Texas website. And unfortunately, a lot of times with the state sites, they're a little bit hard to navigate. Uh, if you look at this, this is actually where you would go to um, get started with filing your LLC uh, formation for a Texas limited liability company. And you can see it's a pretty ugly web page that just kind of does a poor job of guiding you. That's why a lot of times if you are doing it yourself, what I recommend is using a service such as Inkfile. And if you are interested, there is an affiliate link in the description below for this service. But the really cool thing about this service is it's $0 plus state fee. If you go down a little bit here, uh, you can select LLC. I'm gonna form your LLC now. And what we're gonna do is just scroll down to Texas here. And this is where you can see that the package fee is $0 in the uh, silver package and it's $300 for the state fee. So the way they do that is they provide what's called a free registered agent service for a year. If you're not familiar, a registered agent is a third party that exists between you and important documentation that's coming into your business. So it's nice for a couple of reasons. One of them is it kind of gives you a buffer between you know all the, the mailers and different things that are gonna be coming in. But the really nice thing is this person is a professional that is going to make sure you're dotting your I's and crossing your T's as it pertains to your LLC. The reason that's important is if you have a crack in your LLC, which sometimes is referred to as piercing the corporate veil, what happens with that is if there's that crack, if an attorney sues you, they're gonna to try to find that crack and be able to come, um, come after not only your business assets, but your personal assets as well. Now, one of the things I do wanna highlight in the gold package here, uh, which is a good thing to talk about, is a business banking account. So this is an example of where you might have a crack in your LLC. If you start your company, your LLC, but you start commingling funds, that's the term, commingling funds, and that means that you know you're running your uh, personal finances and business finances through the same bank account. That is creating a crack. If you're sued, they might be able to come after your personal and business bank account because you are commingling funds. So that's why it's really important right out of the gates to get set up with a business banking account. Uh, the cool thing about Inkfile is they will um, package things uh, for an affordable price if you go up in packages, but it really depends on where you're at and what you're comfortable with doing. So one of the things I wanna talk about now too is how you can potentially save on taxes depending on if you get set up with an LLC or an S corporation. So what I'm gonna do in the next video right here is I'm gonna compare an LLC and S Corp for you so you can run through that. And then beneath that video, you'll also see one that is the seven best business checking accounts that you can pick from. So that's gonna be really helpful if you wanna go your own route with that picking a business checking account. All right, guys, I'll catch you in one of these next videos. And again, thank you for using my link in the description below. I truly appreciate it.